I remember Liat uh, challenging me to a game of basketball, and that seems to be a common theme with Liat. Uh, I'm a tall guy, I used to play ball, I still play basketball, not at that level. Liat was clearly a baller, and Liat, um, you know, would, was, was always talking about how he could play, and, you know, we had some sports banter, and uh, it was beautiful to see that, because with these three, they were showing that the excellence that they had in their lives uh, really transcended just one area. So there was excellence in their education, there was excellence in their religious uh, pursuits, and there was excellence also in fitness and health, right? They showed that uh, if you're playful and happy, that doesn't mean that you can't also be strong in your religious pursuit and in your humanitarian work and in your sense of service, that you can actually be those things. They also showed that if you are religious and you are engaged in service, that doesn't mean that it's the neglect of yourself. And so these were, these were young people that were having a lot of fun in life, alhamdulillah, and we pray that they're having more fun now and enjoying themselves a lot more now. But they really showed life, and that showed in their interests, that showed in their athleticism, that showed in all of the things that they used to do, and everything that just screams out to us uh, through those pictures today. She was probably the most active person I know. Um, I didn't get active until recently. I wasn't just, I wasn't in it, but she was always in it. And she would force me in it. Like we would always do the sports fest and we would always do any type of basketball event that's raising awareness for anyone in anything. We would be part of it. Roseanne was a runner um, and she took a run conditioning class when she was at NC State and kind of um, used that to boost her endurance and athletic ability. Um, and then um, I was not a runner, so I would not join on these runs. <laughs> um, but her and our other close friend Yasmin would um, always go to Lake Johnson nearby. And um, I think that was around a three mile run and they would do that. We also, in honor of her, started the Run for Razan, which is um, located on NC State's campus. We kind of thought about things that she was passionate about and running was definitely something that she loved, especially near the end of her life. So it made sense to um, kind of start a race and have that um, be what we use to honor her. She uh, loved sports and was athletic. She was a fan of basketball, and uh, before her relationship with Diaz, she was a fan of uh, LA Lakers and Kobe Bryant. But certainly after she was engaged, you know, change of heart, converted and see what she was a fan. She became a fan of Steph Curry and uh, Golden State. She took care of her body and her image, and she ate healthy, she exercised, she swam, she ran, she uh, lifted weights. She aspired to participate in the rock and roll marathon in Bali. The year she died, she applied and she was accepted. And um, lo and behold, we received her shirt, number and tag after she passed. So her friends ran for her. Her brother Yusuf ran for her. And since then, NC State University and her friends hold Run for Razan Day every year to raise funds for the needy. Throughout college, I would bring in soda, a lot of soda, from Food Lion or uh, Kroger. And it was the cheap knockoff brands. Eventually, I gained a lot of weight through college. And he noticed. So what he had said is, every time we come back from class, we'd go out running. I said, OK. <laughs> And this happened maybe for the first two weeks. Then I would do it and I'd be like, no, I'm good. I'm done. Mainly I'd see him a lot of times on the basketball court because we'd, we'd love to play sports together. Because of his stature and the way that he loved to play the game of basketball, he always wanted to improve himself. He was, was tall. He was uh, 6'2", I think. Uh, uh, always in... Uh, sport attire if it doesn't have to be. Avid fan of basketball. But he and my son Yusuf connected over all sports and they knew details about all kinds of athletes and players and, and their life stories. A tournament, to organize tournament and they did that and the last one he was in, he, he won because in his team he selects the best. It's really important for him to win. He's really serious to win. He's there to win.